Shalom. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And a sincere salutation to the Aki, pushing his truth throughout the four winds of the earth, looking up the hope for the elect. Coming at you with another lesson titled this The Hour of Temptation. We are about to go through some serious times. Serious. It's going to get real serious. Sooner or later, it's going to get real serious. We're talking about famines, pestilences, race riot, martial law. Okay, it's going to be a total calamity on us in the time. It's going to be rough out here, real serious. Destruction. Okay, our people want to be down of all different types of diseases. It ain't going to be no food. Our people want to be starving to death. Okay, the scripture tell you that they should eat their own own. It's going to be serious. But the time, the hour of temptation, of temptation is the RFID microchip, man, the mark of the beast. That is going to be that real hour, man, of temptation. Okay, the scripture tell you that, man. They're going to try to make you take the RFID chip. And two-thirds of our people are going to take it. Only one-third will not take the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip. So I'm going to Revelation. This is Revelation chapter 2. And I'm going to start at verse 7. And it reads, he didn't have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. He didn't have an ear, meaning let him understand his knowledge, his understanding, his truth, his wisdom. To him that overcome will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Okay. It's Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thy favor unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Okay? So, them ten days is just representing seven is the meaning completion okay number seven mean completion so when they say 10 days you should be tried 10 days just meaning an unnumerable number that you shall be thrown into prison and being tried okay this is revelation chapter 3 verse 10 it reads because thou has kept the word of my patience okay keeping the word of the most high pushing his truth Okay, doing the will of his father, he say, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Okay, verse 11, behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Okay, he say, hold fast. Your, your 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 wisdom, your knowledge and understanding. When you read Isaiah 33 and 60, say, Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Okay? That's how you're going to get through this, man. Your faith. Okay? Your faith, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. So, Revelation 13 and 16, because what's going to be the hour of temptation? That shall come upon the whole earth, the whole world. It's Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, and it reads, And he calls them all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, 
and that no man may buy or sell, save he that hath the mark, the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that, let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. Now you know Satan is a man. Okay, Satan is a spiritual demon that has a physical seed on the earth. That's why the Lord said in Genesis 3 and 15, I will put enmity between thy seed and her seed. Talking about Satan's seed and Israel's seed. Okay, between Satan's seed and Jacob's seed, which is the 12 tribes of Israel. That's why Jacob and Esau, they were two different nations. Okay, I tell you that in Genesis 25 and verse 25. Okay, two nations. Two manner of people were separated from Rebecca womb. Okay. So it say, Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Okay. Verse 14, chapter 14, verse 9. And the third, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice. If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into a cup of his indignation. Indignation means righteous judgment, righteous anger. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb, meaning you're going to be destroyed from them ICBMs. And that concentrated heat from them lasers, from them, from them cherries, man, them laser beams, man. Okay? But you shall be destroyed with fire and brimstone, man. They're talking about them ICB and them intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. Okay, John said he saw 200,000 thousand, which is 200 million missiles, is going to destroy North America, U.S. of A. And if you take that mark of the beast, man, which is the RFID microchip, you're going to be destroyed, man. Okay? And for you that think that, oh, well, they put it in the people's left hand right now. Well, I'm going to get this. This is Revelation chapter 20, verse 4. And it reads, And I saw the thrones, and they sat upon them, and the judgment was given unto them. And I saw the soul of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shah. And a lot of people are going to be beheaded, man, for the Most High Son Yahweh Shah, man. And... For the word of God, which is Yahweh Shah, okay, the Holy Spirit is truth, man, and which have not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither have received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, with an S, man, I'm talking about both hands, and they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shah Mashiach a thousand years, okay, they reigned and lived with Mashiach a thousand years, man. But my point is, it say hands with an S, man. Either or, man. Right or left hand, man. So if you receive that mark of the beast in either hand, man, or in your forehead, you're going to be destroyed, man. Going back. This is Revelation chapter 2, verse 25. But that which ye have already hold fast till I come, and he that overcome... And keep my works. Okay. This ain't just about faith man. This is about works. Pushing this truth. Waking up the elect. Read this again. This is Revelation chapter 2 verse 25. But that which ye have already. Hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh. And keep my works. Until the end. To him will I give power over the nation. So we are not saved man. Until. We are at the end, man. Everybody talking about they saved. These these Jesus freaks, these so-called Christians, man, talking about they saved, man. You ain't saved, man. Ain't nobody saved, man. Lord willing, we'll be saved. We're not saved until we endure to the end, man. I'm going to bring this out again. Revelation chapter 2, verse 25. But that which ye have already, hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh, and keep my works, not just by faith, works. Until the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Okay, to all the other 17 heathen nations, man. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. 
as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. Okay? You say through thy works, man. You got to push these works, man. It's truth, man. But the point of this lesson, man, is the hour of temptation. What is the temptation, man? Taking that RFID chip, man. The Lord want to see how many of you, you demons, going to take this chip, man. How many of his people is really going to take this chip, man? Okay? They tell you the devil shall throw some of you in prison. Devil just means this diablos, which means deceiver, man. Devil just means deceiver. So who's been deceiving our people, man? The so-called white man, Esau, Edom, man. Okay? For all you out there that think devil is a demon, a dragon with horns and a pitchfork, man, with a red suit on, man. You bugged out of your mind. Okay? The word Satan just means adversary. Adversary just means enemy, man. And they tell you in Deuteronomy 28 and 48 and 49, man, okay, your enemy shall put a yoke of iron on your neck, okay? A nation whose tongue you do not understand, okay? Who language you do not understand, man. Devil mean deceiver, man, okay? Satan has a physical seed here on earth, man. They tell you that in Genesis 3 and 15, man, they, that most high Yahweh will put enmity between Satan's seed and her seed. Eve didn't have no seed, man. It's talking about Israel, man. Jacob, man. Okay? He put enmity between us and Esau, man. If you read Genesis 21, man. Genesis chapter 25, starting at verse 21, it'll tell you that two nations was in her womb, man. Two manner of people that shall be separated from her bowels, man. Okay? Talking about Jacob and Esau, man. The twelve tribes of Jacob. And the seeds of Esau, man, which is the Dukes of Edom, man. Okay, the Dukes of Esau. The Khazarian Empire, man. The so-called Jews. Okay? But we call them gutter rats, man. That's over in our land, man. The so-called Jews. The Khazars, man. The Caucasians. The cave dwellers. Caucasian mean cave dweller, man. Okay? He put enmity between us and them, man. This is not rocket science. Okay, for you ones that spiritually... Undiscerned, man. You ain't gonna get this, man. Because the Lord gave you the spirit of deep sleep. As it say in Isaiah 29 and 9, man. Okay. I'm gonna read this again, man. This is Revelation chapter 3, verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, being patient and waiting on him. He said, wait on him to come back. Okay. And he gonna turn unto his weapons of war and battle axes, man. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon the all the which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Okay? So all us gonna get tempted, man. But the Lord said he shall keep thee, man, from keeping the word of his patience, man. Cause the elect ain't gonna take that RFID chip, man, that mark of the beast. But two thirds of our people are gonna take it, man. Along with the rest of the heathen, man. Because they is trending our people to it, making it seem like it's a good thing to take that chip, man. It's convenient for you. Okay, it's convenient. All around the board, man. You got your money on it. Your health. Okay. Anything else, man. You can keep track of your kids. Okay. Whatever, man. Anything electronic, man. You will be able to access it through your RFID microchip, man. So they trending our people to this. And they're going to be destroyed for that. The hour of temptation is us not taking that RFID microchip, man, which is the mark of the beast. Okay? That word, that word mark in Revelation 13, man, is say in the Greek is karagma, man, which means incision, man. Okay? And when you go into that word in the blue letter, and I'm going to get that real fast before I close out. Going to the blue letter. This is how you are able to, because the New Testament was wrote in Greek. So you are able to go to the blue letter Bible and break down what the Greek words mean.
So I'm going to Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. Once you go to Revelation 13 and 16, then you punch in, you hit twos. And when you hit twos, it's going to give you what the word means. Okay, so Revelation 13 and 16 is a mark, which is karagma. Okay. And I'm going to let them say the word for you. Strong's G, 5480, karagma. 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 Okay. Now, when you go to, and it's G5480, and when you go into it, it say a stamp, an imprinted mark of the mark stamp on the forehead or right hand as the badge of the followers of the Antichrist. Now, we know the Antichrist means, it tell you in John that. It's many antichrists, not one, but it's telling you the followers of the beast, okay? Followers of the system, man, the mark of the beast. It's a, it's a, a badge of the followers of the antichrist. The mark branded upon horses, thing car, sculpture, graven work, okay? Or idolatrous image. It tell you Karagma, man, a badge of the followers of the beast, man, the mark of the beast, okay? So if you take that, man, you're going to be destroyed. Thus says the scripture, man. Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah said he's going to destroy our people, okay? The heathens are already going to be destroyed. We don't care about them, man. But this is for our people, man, Israel. So they're going to be destroyed if they take that mark of the beach. So I want to say, I hope this one edified. I'll pray to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rekhah Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone will rule well. And a sincere citation to all the arguing, pushing this truth throughout the four winds of the earth, we love to hopefully let. Shalom.